Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Adam from Altac Media Tutorials and I'm going to show you today how to broadcast from Simplecast to a Radio Showcast server. So the reasoning you might want to be doing this is this is a uh, Simplecast, the program you might already have or might not have or maybe want to know more about how to do it. I'm going to show you today. Uh, basically this program here, anything going into your computer, it'll broadcast out through here. As you can see the levels as I talk are going through this and uh, had I be connected to a server currently none of these are active because I obviously don't want to be talking they would be going through uh, a Shopcast server you can play music or do whatever and that's mainly the reason people want to do this is uh, a lot of people have an online radio show or want to do a podcast or want to broadcast an event this is why now to do this it is a little bit of a learning curve and that's why I'm here to show you a bit of a tutorial step-by-step -step process on how to set all this up and get it working so the first thing you're gonna need to do just put the simple cast aside here for a second you're gonna need to go to your internet browser and type in listen to my radio dot com now for the purpose of this I'm going to uh, open two tabs this is what it'll look like when you go there listen to my radio dot com and that is with a two not two not two so I had some confusion there so as you can see, I'm here at listen to my radio com. Just below where it says "Always Dreamt of Broadcasting," yes, we have. Click on the blue button here that says "Sign Up for a Free Account." When you click on that, it's going to prompt you to this page. And once you get to this page, it's going to say, you know, enter your full name, your username that you pick for your station, pick a password, retype the password, and put your email in. Uh, once you're done that, I've already done this, so I'm going to. You're going to click Create My Account. Okay, so once you do that, it's going to say, we received your request to register. An email was sent to your, to your email with instructions for your account. So you're going to pop over to your email here. Uh, I'm actually going to log out of this email because it's not the right email. Uh, so I'm going to go to um, this here. Um, just one second here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what they have just done again is they have sent you an email uh, that contains a link, and when you click that link, it'll activate the account. So, let's look for the email, and there it is. Uh, listen to my radio sign up confirmations. You're going to click on that. It says, uh, Dear name of the radio station, Altec Media Radio, we received your request to join Listen to My Radio. To confirm, sign in. Uh, to confirm, sign up, please click the link. So, when you click the link, here's where it's going to take you. You can click that link. It's successfully registered. Boy, I can't talk today. You can now log in. So you're going to log in by clicking this link here. This is a return to login page. So when you get here, you're going to uh, enter your email that you just created. Put in your password. And it's going to log you in. Now this is the uh, this was the confusing part for many, and this is I'm going to walk you through it the best way I can. So if I'm going too fast, just yell at me in the comments. <laughs> so it's just uh, a bunch of stuff here. You don't really need to pay attention to that, but what you do need to pay attention to is down here. It says you do you need to install your radio. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Look at all those. Press here to install. So you're going to click here in the gray, the only link. So you're going to need to create a broadcaster password. This will be used for a couple of things when you log in to listen to my radio radio details. And also when you're using Simplecast, we'll get to that here shortly. Uh, so you're going to uh, want to create those. Uh, I'm going to blur these out just so you can't see them, but you get the idea. You put your password in there. They can be the same password, broadcaster password, admin password can be the same. Uh, the title of the stream, just for this, I'm going to call it All Tech Media Radio Service Network. Um, you can name, that's where you name your station be on the top. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is put uh, the text in for the left of the listening page. So this would be like a description. So I'm not going to type all this. I'm not going to make you wait. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch of stuff in here. But again, this is where you would uh, enter the details of your stream. So your format maybe, description of it, stuff like that. Uh, these have to be a 30 word minimum and no more than 100. So uh, make that keep that in mind. Uh, so hopefully uh, it will accept this. These are a bunch of reggedy, reggedy words. I'm going to copy that and put it down here. Uh, so this was the the left side of the listening page, the description, whatever. And this is for the right. So this is just more room to talk about your station or whatever else you want to. Maybe your lineup or something like that. 
Okay, down here is where it's going to ask for your radio URL. Um, your radio URL is where you're going to put listeners to. You're going to share the link with listeners, and that's where they're going to tune into your station. So that's really important. So you can pick whatever you want it to be if it's available. Uh, you're going to want to put in, well, for ours, it's going to be Altec Media Radio, or whatever the name of your station is would go right in there, and it would be dot listen to my radio dot com. So when you're done all this, make sure you got it all in. Hey, yeah, it's good. Click install. And once you do that, <clears throat> it's going to say for the next step of installation, press here. So press there. Okay. So uh, th it's going to say uh, you need to choose where your radio server radio server will be hosted. There's UK servers, US servers, Canada servers, servers, Singapore and Germany servers. Uh, UK server is the one I'm going to pick just because it obviously says they're the best servers that they have. Good servers in the US. Um, it doesn't really make too much a difference in my opinion. Um, I'm in Canada, but I usually do pick the UK just because, again, they're the best servers that they have. Uh, so for this demonstration, let's go with the UK si uh, servers. I'm going to click on this. Doo -doo -doo. And when you click on that, it's going to bring up this little screen. It's going to say, radio slash video server has been changed. Please wait 60 seconds till your radio slash video will get on. Okay, you've been waiting patiently with Simplecast. Open that up. What you're going to need to do is click on the encoders window. It's obviously not going to be selected. It should look like this. Click on encoders. You're going to want to hit the plus button here. And when you hover it over, hover over it, it'll say add new encoder. When you click on that, it's going to give you a few options here. It's going to say OGG Legacy MP3 ACM Codec, WMA um, V9 Advanced, but you're going to want the top one that says MP3 and MP3 Pro. Click on that. Click OK as I click the wrong thing. Okay, so uh, what you're going to need to do is going to bring up a few tabs here. Don't pay attention to these just yet. Uh, you're going to want to pick your quality. This can be fast, medium, or high. This depends on your internet speed. So uh, for my tutorial, I'm going to say fast just because I have really good internet speed. Format, this is important. This is the byte rate that you're going to be broadcasting at. You're going to want for this, um, for any radio station in my opinion, you're going to want at least 128 kilobytes per second. For, for um, listen to my radio, you're going to want to scroll down and find MP3 128 KB slash S 441 KHZ stereo. So when you find that, click that, <clears throat> and that'll be good. Don't pay attention to anything over here. I get that quite a bit. Uh, this is just some stuff. Uh, if you want to do some of this, these items, like if you want to start the encoder, stuff like that. So click on the next tab here, server details. Showcast should automatically be selected as the primary choice when you click on that. Now here's where you go. Uh, server IP, look familiar. You go over here to your radio, uh, listen to my radio, and you're going to copy this address, the new IP broadcast server address. You're going to want to copy that and put that into the server IP area. You're also going to want to back go over here and copy the port. So when you copy the port, um, you put that into there. Now the password is going to be the same as what you set up before. So remember when I said um, you're going to need them similar passwords? This is where they're going to go. That's why I mentioned you could just have the same password for broadcast and admins. This is where you're going to want to put that password in, into there. Name your station. It can be whatever, but uh, obviously you're going to want to name it something similar to your station. Um, this is uh, what will show up in the stream, so it is kind of important. You can pick your genre. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to pick just uh, R&B and put your website in there. Okay. Don't pay attention to anything down here and just click uh, OK. Don't pay attention to the other tab that says Stream Archive either. So once you have that set up, I have a few here because I do so many shows, but uh, you'll see that you have this here and it'll be a nice little uh, details tab and it'll have a little encoder not started well that's not good is it so what you're going to need to do is go back here to listen to my radio and uh, click radio details and if it's working right it should say stream is on in green beautiful green maybe it's Christmas I don't know uh, once that's done uh, you're going to want to go back to here go back in here and uh, let's just click this and what you're going to want to do is it's set to go so you're going to want to click this little button here the little play button this is start currently uh, playing the 
play the encoder. It says start the current encoder. So you're going to want to click that. And if it's working correctly, okay, so I did something wrong. It says error disconnected. So uh, let me just check here. Um, okay. Okay, so you're going to, again, want to click on the little uh, play button here. I'll call it the play button. And if it's working correctly, it'll say encoded, just like that. Um, so it'll say encoded, 006, stream, 0 bytes, whatever, and this continue to rise, obviously. So now that you got that going, you're going to see a little uh, item here, and it'll uh, broadcast that out through the uh, thing. If you want to start broadcasting stuff out, so I'm going to just uh, put some music on here. Uh, let's bring up our radio program here. Uh, radio DJ uh, just to give you an example of how this would work and how I would do things and how we would do things here at Altec and uh, yeah so let's give you an idea an overall idea so radio DJ is gonna load up let's just put uh, some music on hopefully I won't blast your head with this music but uh, let's put a Gangnam Style uh, let's go with Katy Perry here so that's going through that's going through the encoder I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Start. That's no brought now being broadcast. So I said quietly. I'm not gonna agree down. politely. That's now going through. Everything that's uh, going through the server now is uh, being broadcasted through that. So anything that's going through your speakers right now is being broadcasted through that. So if you want to share the link with your friends, what you would want to do is you would go to uh, view statistics. Okay, sorry. Uh, you wouldn't want to view st statistics. Uh, what you would want to go is click here on this little tab here that says Stream Details. Okay? And what you're going to want to do is scroll down here to give you a whole bunch of information. What you're looking for is the radio URL, which is HTTP. Remember when you set this up, I said this is what you would share with your friends. This is what you would share with your friends. So what you're going to do is we'll paste this into here and uh, paste that in your web browser window. And click Enter. That's going to take you to your radio page. You can customize this picture and stuff HTTP, like that. HTTP, remember, remember when you set this up? I said uh, this is what you share with your friends. This is what you share going with your friends. What you're going to do is we'll paste this actually, in. I'm going to mute that just because I don't want to deafen you. But this is actually going through to here. Uh, and anything, again, is being broadcasted through this. So uh, this is your radio page. This is what you customized earlier on the left and right. So, uh, yeah, that's basically how you do all this. Uh, that is the end of today's tutorial. Next tutorial, we'll be having uh, kind of not a not a debate, but we'll be going over some of the top radio broadcasting platforms that are available today. Some that are free, some that are paid, and the best value for your money or best bang for your buck, if you will. Thanks for watching today's tutorial, and I hope it helped. Leave your likes and comments. We'd love to hear from you. Or visit us online, altechmedia.com.